Uh, remember, the sales tax will typically be applied. This is a desktop flow chart, but we're just looking at the flow here, looking at the customer cycle. Usually when we make a sale, if there's gonna be sales tax applicable, we'll need to be using the invoice form or the sales receipt form. We're gonna be charging whatever we charge for the actual item being sold. And then we're gonna to have to bump it up for the sales tax so that we're gonna be collecting on the sales tax. The sales tax in theory is not something that we are charging as the business owner, but rather we are the collection agent for the tax agency. And therefore we're not gonna record the amount we collect for sales tax as revenue and then expense it when paid, but rather we're gonna put it on the books as a payable when we make the sale and then we'll decrease the payable when we pay the sales tax. So that's the general idea. In the United States, the sales tax is going to be a, uh, a state and local tax as opposed to a federal tax. So we don't have like a, a blanketed sales tax over the whole country. It'll be dependent upon the location and could be dependent on other, like where the sales took place and so on and so forth. But therefore it's a little bit more complex